Azoospermia is the medical term used when there are no sperm in the ejaculate. It can be obstructive where there is a blockage preventing sperm from entering the ejaculate, or it can be non-obstructive when it is due to decreased sperm production by the testis. Is azoospermia common? The answer is yes. Around 10% of infertile men and 1% of all men have azoospermia. Imagine a stadium with 50,000 men attending a game. Around 5,000 to 7,000 of those men will have infertility, and 500 of those men will be azoospermic. You must be thinking what can cause azoospermia. We know of many potential causes, including some genetic conditions such as Klinefelter's syndrome, medical treatments such as chemotherapy or radiation, recreational drugs such as some narcotics, and anatomical abnormalities such as varicoceles or absence of the vas deferens on each side. Perhaps the most obvious cause would be a vasectomy, which prevents sperm from joining other fluids in the ejaculate. In most cases, azoospermia is likely due to factors we don't fully understand, such as genetic conditions, poor testicular development as a fetus or child and environmental toxins. If someone had azoospermia that is no sperms in ejaculate on semen analysis, what should he do? Aside from seeing a specialist in male infertility, the first step would be to get a repeat semen analysis at a lab that has a lot of experience doing semen and sperm tests, because results can vary a lot from test to test and lab to lab. Also, having small numbers of sperm can change the management treatment options drastically, so the first step should be getting proper confirmation of the finding. Can we tell with surety that the cause of azoospermia is blockage or because of absent production from testes? Not with 100% accuracy, but we have some good indicators. First, a very careful physical exam is crucial to assess the testes and reproductive structures. In addition, lab tests such as FSH, serum testosterone and inhibin B can give an indication of testicular function.